Good evening everyone. Today I am going to go ahead and I am going to show you how to make um, fried bora with potato and chicken. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make fried bora with potato and chicken. Um, some of us know it as Trinidadian, know it as Bodhi. Um, Asian know it as long bean. Um, some of the Caribbean know it as long bean too. But this is my bora that I went ahead, wash and cut up into little pieces about one inches long. So I have my bora there and I have about a pound and a half or two pounds of bora. Then I have two and a half pounds of chicken. It's about seven chicken thighs that I went ahead and I chopped up with the bone, bone in thighs. In my plate over here, I have my onion, my garlic, my scallion, my celery, my basil, thyme, broadleaf thyme, fine leaf thyme, chili pepper, and some parsley and garlic that I have in my plate here. This is what I'm going to need to go ahead and cook my, um, make my bora. And I also have some chopped tomatoes here. And in my bowl over here, I did have large potatoes, but I did have these little um, potatoes that I'm going to go ahead and I am going to fry my bora with. So I'm going to put that aside. First thing I'm going to do is start with my chicken. So over here, I have my pot with two tablespoons of olive oil heating up. And I am going to go ahead and I am going to start with my chicken. So first thing I am going to do, I'm going to add my all of my ingredients here into my pot. I'm going to let this saute for about a minute or two. Into the oil. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give my seasoning a nice sauce here. So this will fry up now for about two to three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. To my chicken, I am going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder. Add one teaspoon of onion powder. Also, I am going to add one teaspoon of chicken bouillon. Some of us know it as stew powder. Also, I'm going to go ahead and add about a teaspoon of black pepper, and that is optional. Now, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give all of this a toss. Smells so good, looks so good already. I'm going to bring in my camera so you can see what it looks like. Look at that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover my pot and I'm going to let my chicken fry until it's completely brown. And then I'll come back and I will show you the second step of the fried for potato and chicken. Okay, so my chicken been cooking now for the past 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on that. I'm going to 
get this soft, this looks really good here. Look at that. All my seasoning. Look at that. So what I'm going to do now, at this point, I am going to go ahead and I am going to add my potatoes, which I have here. And also, I'm going to be adding my bora. Or bori. And I am going to go ahead and I am going to get this a toss. show you guys what this looks like, just bear with me. Let me show you what this looks like, just a minute. And I am going to let this fry now until my bora and my potato is nice and tender. And then we'll go ahead from there. I'm going to go ahead and taste for salt. And this has enough salt because I did add in one and a half teaspoon of chicken bouillon. So this has enough salt. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover my pot. And I am going to let that cook until my bora and my potato is completely tender. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on the bora now. That's been cooking up here now for the past 10 minutes. And this is looking so delicious already. Okay, it still need a little bit more. So I'm going to let it continue to fry. a little bit more. So I'm going to let that continue to fry. I'm not going to add my tomatoes yet. My tomatoes I'm going to add last. So I'm going to give this another five minutes before I add my tomatoes. So I'm going to check back on that in a little while. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on my bora here. Okay guys, at this time I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add my tomatoes. And I am not going to let my tomatoes cook for more than two minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a nice toss. I'm going to let this cook for about two more minutes. And then I'll turn my stove off. And I will show you what it looks like. So bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to give it a last toss. And then I'll go ahead and I will turn my stove off. My potato is completely cooked. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to turn my stove off and I will show you what the finished product looks like. So bear with me. And there you have it, guys. Fried bora with chicken and potato that I bring you today. I am going to bring this a little closer to the camera so you can see what it looks like. Fried bora with potatoes. And chicken. If you like this video guys kindly go ahead and give it a thumbs up. On the right hand corner of the screen there is a notification bell. Please remember to click on that so you will not miss out on any of my video. Today I bring you a delicious boro, fried boro with potato and chicken. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.